All right, often people ask me about my side projects, about the farm or whatever else I'm doing. And this is one of the things I'm doing. I, I got this old ramp uh, for doing a lot of work for the neighborhood to put the new one in. And uh, so I had to use my excavator and all that stuff to put the new ramp on the boat dock and help those guys out. And we built the dock and put it, put it there. There was a company that did it, but they needed help. So I helped them. And uh, of course I launched the dock all the time and all that stuff. So, um, Anyway, I had this ramp and the float was really set wrong. I don't know why. It really pushed down on the front. It didn't hold the, it held the back weight, which kept it off the ground, but you want it on the ground. So that's the weird thing. So I'm going to move the float to the middle to, to balance the ramp. And then that side will hook to the dock, which will keep it up. And then this side should hit the ground. I mean, that's what you want. You want it on the ground. That's what kind of holds the dock. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I want the, I want, don't want it to be so bad that it's so heavy that it, falls in the ground but <coughs> i want it to, i mean and, and, and if with floods i would definitely want it to lift right but uh but i don't want it so uh far back where it is now that the front pushes down on the dock so it can push down a little bit just not as much so i really haven't determined where that place is going to be yet um but uh i'm going to move those two brackets i'll cut them off and then weld them on further forward in the meantime, I got this float, and the float is uh, in bad shape. It's full of water. So I'm going to drill two holes towards the top, lift it up, and let it drain. And let it drain all out, and then uh, and then I'll clean it up, whatever. And then I'll seal those holes. And I think it's got a, a hole over here, too, on the side. looks damaged, and something was growing out of it. So it's just had a hard life, you know. When, when you're a community property, uh, uh, yeah, you don't get taken care of. So we'll get her all fixed up, and... Uh, go attach it to the dock and then i'll push the dock in it's been needing it's been needing some love for a while so the the other ramps we had was like off a of u-haul or something and it's just one that we had gotten free and you know we don't want to spend a lot of money on the dock down there so uh the dock actually came was beaten up was terrible shape and was up on the side of some rocks and i i went and met the guy and he needed his driveway graded so i graded his driveway and trade for the dock so that was free too i you know i put a couple hundred dollars worth of paint on it but and then a couple boards were missing and then we put the side rails on it whatever so we spent money on it but nothing big and then they, this uh it's been a bad winter uh of course you guys know we've had the winds a couple tornadoes and all that and so the top of that thing has just been ripped to shreds so i got a new top for it so we'll be putting that on too so yeah just another little adventure all right well i'm going to get the holes drilled in this and kind of lift it up there the answer all over it and then uh then i'll work on this and get those changed to where they need to go and then we will uh, put it back together and take it down and hook it up, I guess.
off now. I have a choice. I mean, I guess I can try to take this off, which I think those things are screws are pretty rusty. I'll check them out and see if I got a even got a, a um, tool to take them off. And then the second thing I could do is put a longer disc on there and hope that it reaches the angle will be different than maybe that doesn't hit the ground. I do have new ones. So. It's like the old ones are just like a square head. So I'll see if I can't uh, can't find that. All right, so I had the Allen wrench screw or the square head screw uh, driver, but uh, I realized that I'd have to work from that way and do all the way to here. And those clips, and this thing is so old, I don't need to be breaking every screw and clip. So I put a new blade on there, and sure enough, that gives me the angle I need. So I'm just going to grind this off real quick with this blade, and uh, hope I get all the way through without wearing it down too much. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, that'll do it. Now I just need to measure out and figure out where I want the other one, where they want to put them, you know, and then we'll go from there. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, that's gonna be the biggest thing is trying to measure it out so that it, I wanted a little bit on this side so that, but I don't want it pushing down on the dock. I want it to carry the weight of the, of the ramp. So, all right, let me do some measurements. I'll figure all that out and I'll get back with you. All right, that ain't professional, but it's gonna hold. And that's what it matters to me. <laughs> All right, let's get over and do the other side and we'll set this other one in. We'll get her tacked up there and see what we got. Hopefully my welds get better as we go. I don't think anybody's gonna hire me to weld. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, so that looks pretty good. We got it all washed off. It looks a lot cleaner. It's not covered in mold, so that'll be nice. And we've sprayed that off too, even though it's gonna get corroded again sitting in the leg, but at least it looks decent for the season. So we'll lift her up and we'll set her on top of this thing and see if we can't get her bolted down. And then uh, I guess it's time to go down and uh, tear the deck, uh, the dock apart on the one end and 
put this thing together. All right. All right, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna have to move it around a little bit just to get in the holes, but I mean, other than that, and it's balanced pretty well, I mean, honestly. So I think that's gonna work out great. It is a little more this way, right? Because the center is right in here. So it's about a foot off center that way. Uh, of course, that side's gonna be on the dock, and then that side hopefully will hit the ground. But this way, when it floods, it'll lift it up and that thing won't go down. And then when it comes down, it won't break off, right? So. It is 20 feet long though, it's, so it's pretty dang on long ramp. All right, well, let me uh, quit talking. Let me find four bolts and uh, we'll get these old washers up. I'll probably use those again and uh, we'll get this put back together. All right. All right, it took me a second, but I found some. Hopefully these are not too long. They're not, not thread all, so. I won't be able to talk to the firm in a minute.
All right, so I went up and got some uh, water and some screws and man, I tell you, my buddy got me this and it is ridiculous. It keeps water cold all day long. It's the cat's meow. But uh, so I got the screws. I'll just, I'm just going to go ahead and screw all the board deck boards back down. And I should have bring a knife. Daggone it. I need to cut that white plastic, don't I, to put that back. So I guess I'll be running back up to get a knife. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we'll get this screwed down anyway. And then go get a knife and we'll cut the white to fit the thing now. And uh, we'll go from there. But it came out nice. It really did. It's, it's bolted nice on there. And, you know, 20 feet long, it'll, it'll push that thing out there. And then I'll... Uh, you know just do it the normal way i'd have the problem we have here is uh, my pallet you can see it sitting over there is a uh, lot of times uh it's just mud on the bank so to get to the thing you have to kind of walk through mud so i don't know i have that aluminum ramp i thought about using that somehow uh but the problem with it is is if it floods it goes like you know 90 degrees and then hits the ground and then breaks off so i'm not sure what we'll do but this is really nice so all right well let me get this uh screwed down here and we'll go from there So I got my ropes moved up to the summer tree and then this one just gets loosened up and goes around that tree Those two trees I have to flip it on the other side of this tree for the summer holds it from going this way And then that one keeps it pulled pulled that way a little bit. So anyway, it's time to push her in So I'm just gonna kind of take my time. And, I need to get rid of this ladder I'm gonna take my time and kind of push on her And of course, I'm not gonna get near the the water. So we just do what we can do and then I may have to put, after I get it down there, I may have to put like a pallet or something in the water or go get a board or something. I'm not sure yet to, to push it on in, but that's what we're going to do. So I think I'll set this ladder up and use it as a camera stand. there you go she's in the water first time this year <laughs> she's uh it's not even on the float it's funny it's still sitting on the ground so it'll need to go in just a little further but i figure i can kind of go out there and just rock it until it goes i definitely uh definitely looks nice definitely looks nice all the weeds are not underneath it but you can see how that bank gets muddy and of course you can see why i won't come too close that is going to work pretty well uh never mind my pallets uh, yeah, I got to figure out something to do here. You know, uh, if you pour gravel, the gravel just, you know, gets covered with mud. It doesn't really sink. It covers with mud. The me a little bit sinks, but it just gets covered in mud every time, every year, right? And then the, so the gravel's underneath the mud. Um, so I don't really know a good way to do this. I thought about just putting deck boards on top of these pallets. That way you have something good and strong to walk down. Um, but I don't really know. You know, it's one of those things. Uh, the water will come up to the roots of the tree there or you know right right here below these rocks uh, eventually they'll come up to that level 
uh, you can see kind of right here where this tree is actually right below this tree. So the top of the pallet actually. And uh, so it'll come up there for the summer. So all this will be underneath the water. So that constant changing is what, what, uh, what, what makes this rough to deal with. If it was permanent, then I could just do, you know, I could build a stairway down to it or whatever. Uh, I've thought about concrete and I may do concrete at some point, you know, just put a skinny concrete straight drive right up here so then that that thing can just kind of follow the concrete i could put wheels on the end of it you know so it would roll up the concrete uh so i don't know i mean i don't know uh but right now that's not uh in the cards So this little thing works really good. Cobalt makes it, it pumps right out of the lake. So I just put the pipe down the lake and just battery operated. So I don't have to have uh, electric down here and it cleans up pretty good. I mean, it isn't like the one on the house. You know, it's not 3000 PSI, it's 200, 600, sorry. But uh, it does good, it does good. It's a beautiful day today. It's been raining all day, but uh, it's nice and quiet out here. It kept people off the lake, I guess. So it's nice and quiet. And enjoyable so i need to get a little bleach rag and get this cleaned up but you know all in day's work i had it all figured out knew which road i would go down thought i could do it all on my own All right, well, that was a nice moment of zen. Let's get to work. Yeah, obviously you can tell we've had a lot of flooding, um, a lot of rain, big storms, wind storms, tornadoes, storms. So a bunch of junk in the water, water turns brown. It's a bunch of runoff, of course, just like any river, dammed up river, right? I mean, that's just the way they operate. So it'll be a while before all this stuff calms down, the water turns green again, probably about a week.
right, so I got the top on. It's nice to have shade down here. I'm going to hit the company up, though, because, like, the very, very top fits nice. But you can see this bottom top, top it, it it's really pulling tight. Uh, this part should be down here. I mean, you can see that's quite a... That's quite a distance from the where it should be breaking at. Uh, and these things are just busting at the seam, trying to stay on there. Uh, I suppose it'll stretch over time a little bit, and maybe that's what they're thinking. I'll hit them up and see what they say, uh, but we'll see. I don't know. In the meantime, though, it does provide some shade. It's nice to have shade down here. I wish these birds would quit pooping on my dock, daggone nature. But, uh, hey, yeah, thanks for riding with me on this one. Uh, I know it's a little odd, but... Uh, People have asked to see the other stuff that I do. I don't figure you want to ride around me on the lawnmower again, so <laughs> I just figured I'd show you me fixing the dock this year. So, yeah. Wish the water could have been better, but, you know, it does turn a dark green when it's not storming. But I hear we're getting storms again tomorrow night, Thursday night, yeah, tomorrow night. Um, so, that yeah, I guess it'll stay muddy for a while. Now, I won't even put my boat in it when it's like this. It has to be green and settled for me to get in there. But anyway, all right. Thanks again for spending your valuable time with me. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed, please do, and don't forget to hit the like button. All right. See you next week.